Oprah Winfrey uh, giving the most uh, riveting speech, uh, incredibly inspirational, and so many people taking, taking notice. If you missed it, here's just a snippet. So I want all the girls watching here and now to know that a new day is on the horizon. And when that new day finally dawns, it will be because of a lot of magnificent women, many of whom are right here in this room tonight, and some pretty phenomenal men fighting hard to make sure that they become the leaders who take us to the time when nobody ever has to say, me too, again. That rousing speech, nearly nine minutes, had plenty of people saying, hey, you know who that leader should be? It should be you, Oprah Winfrey, uh, tweeting about the media mogul possibly running even for president. Well, it's something Oprah has been asked about, called on to do for years now. Even President Trump, at one point, suggested Oprah would make the perfect running mate. You have a vice presidential candidate in mind? Well, I really haven't gotten quite there yet. Uh, it's I guess it's just you Oprah, and I love Oprah. Oprah would always be my first choice. Yes. Oprah would be great. I'd love to have Oprah. I think would win easily. Shishi Yang was there uh, on the red carpet reporting on the Golden Globes. And Shishi, we're going to walk through the, the top three moments now of the Golden Globes. Arguably, Oprah Winfrey taking that top spot. Absolutely, Erica. Now, I have to say, last night was so magical, and Oprah Winfrey absolutely stole the spotlight. And regardless of what your political views are, I mean, let's be honest, we should all vote for Oprah because who does not want a free car? Her speech was so incredibly powerful. I was actually watching backstage in the press room. There was not a single pair of dry eyes in the room. She dedicated her award to every single powerful woman sitting in the room who started the Time's Up movement. It's a new day. Hey, it's a new dawn, and we're celebrating the power of woman. We saw history being made last night, too, by Oprah Winfrey, because she, of course, uh, is the first uh, black woman to receive the Cecil B. DeMille Award. But she wasn't the only one to make history. Aziz Ansari and also Sterling K. Brown, also with a couple of firsts last night. Of course, and as an Asian American myself, I'm so incredibly proud to see Aziz Ansari taking home the globe for his performance in Master of None on Netflix. Now, Aziz is actually the first Asian American to win a Golden Globe, so that was definitely a huge moment. And of course, um, NBC This Is Us star Sterling K. Brown, he's the first African American to win the category for lead actor in TV drama, and that was such a big moment. He also gave an incredible speech about how he was really appreciative of how the writers on that NBC His show specifically wrote a role for an African-American actor. Now, they didn't just choose to cast an, a minority to have a diverse cast. This was a role that was specifically wrote for an African-American. So it was definitely a big moment. I think we have a little bit of his speech, too. Let's play some of that. What I appreciate so much about this thing is that I'm being seen for who I am and being appreciated for who I am. And it makes it that much more difficult to dismiss me or dismiss anybody who looks like me. Powerful moment there. Uh, on the red carpet as well, so much power. This was not the red carpet of yesterday, not even close. It wasn't about what you were wearing. It was about why you were there and what you had to say. Absolutely, Erica. And one thing that I loved the most about the red carpet last night was every single lead actress, actor, nominee, presenter, performer, everyone showed up wearing black to stand in solidarity to fight against the systematic problem that is sexual harassment in Hollywood. And black is such a powerful color. It's everyone coming together as a collective saying, you know what, this is the end of Hollywood tolerating sexual harassment. Over eight uh, actresses, they actually brought um, activists as their plus one onto the red carpet. So they were definitely making a lot of big statements there. Great to see them there. Billie Jean King and Toronto Burke among them. Gigi Yang, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.